I'll let you take it away. Perfect. All right. Hey, Xavier, congratulations. Hey. Thank you. Thank you so much. How does this feel having just one big brother? Uh, it feels amazing. You know, uh, definitely was it was a good night for sure. Um, so let's talk about alliances. The cookout was amazing, and I really enjoyed watching you guys all season. Um, but why was your sub alliance all men? I'm curious why you went that route instead of wanting to work with the women. The sub alliance mean my final three with Big D and Kylan. Yep. Um, I also had a kind of unofficial final three with Tiffany and Hannah. And then in another final three, I had Big D and Aza. I had a final three with just about every member of the cookout. Um, Kylan and Big D, Big D knew that by keeping Kylan, Big D and I knew that by keeping Kylan close, if he won competitions, he would look at other people besides myself. And Big D was my final two, so my top priority was keeping him safe. Um, yeah, I, but I had deals with Tiffany, Hannah, Aza. I was perfectly fine with working with anybody. Um, you know, that was just kind of how the cards were dealt. When Kylan won HOH at six, I needed him to make sure he took out arguably the biggest threat besides myself, and that was Tiffany. Um, even though I, I'm sure the fans would have loved to have seen potentially Tiffany and I sitting in the final two chairs to duke it out, um, which the fan in me would have loved that just to see what happens, um, because I think Tiffany played a brilliant game, as did Aza and Hannah. Um, but, you know, when you're in there and you're trying to win the game, she was the biggest threat. Kyle was willing to take that shot. And so that's just kind of what needed to happen. But yeah, no, it was never like, a, hey, I'm only going to work with the guys. No, I had deals in place with the women too. It was just, they didn't win. So I couldn't, you know, act on that at that time at six. Right. I'm trying to remember the final six HOH. If you had won it, who would have been your target? Or did you throw that one because you didn't want to take a shot? I can't remember. Oh, I didn't, I didn't win. I just didn't win that one. Cluster's Revenge, it was the egg kind of, yeah. That's not, right. Not my comp, just not my comp. Um, if I had won that, I was truthfully considering taking a big shot. I knew Tiffany was coming for me, and I also had reason to get Kylan out. So I was potentially thinking about putting both of them up and just being like, let's see what happens. Um, but yeah, it was uh, Kylan won. So at that point, I was like, okay, this is kind of the deal that I have to move forward with to ensure that Big D and I get a little bit closer to final two. Sure. So speaking of Kylan, um, he rubbed a lot of the fans the wrong way on his eviction. And then last night, he kind of doubled down on those comments. So how are you feeling about all of that? Um, I, I spoke with Kylan briefly on finale and I just kind of letting him know, hey, um, we he, he said we should talk. And it was just like, yeah, we should have a talk man to man. Um, this is just to discuss, you know, how I perceive what you said and I guess what your intentions were behind what you said. Um, we should have a conversation and discuss it because, you know, uh, even though I, I took offense to what he said, obviously with the news of my brother and my nephew being my, my motivation behind here, Kylan is somebody who I don't know that I make it in those final two chairs without him. You know, he did help all members of the cookout make history. And that's not something I want to just throw away without at least having a conversation, trying to get some type of reconciliation or be able to move away in more of a positive light. All right, good. So you think you guys could potentially you know, mend fences moving forward? At least try to get some understanding. And then, you know, our relationship will be what it is. But I, I, I mean, we, we made history together as did all members of the cookout. And I don't want to just throw away that relationship. Now, obviously I don't, I don't anticipate us being like BFFs, but I at least <laughs> think we should, we should probably have a conversation just man to man. Yeah, awesome. Um, so obviously you won the game and that speaks volumes about your game, but still, is there anything you would do differently or do you have any regrets? Um, not really. I, I don't think I, I, there was anything that I would do differently or di that I have any regrets. Um, I, I do think I played a, a very strong game. Uh oh, everything. Okay. Oh, yep. I lost you when you said, I do think I played a very strong game. Oh, yeah. I was just saying, I think I played a strong game, as did, you know, all the other members of the cookout. Um, but I, I will, you know, concede in the fact that I don't think my game would have been as strong as it was without the cookout. I still think I could play a strong individual game, but I think all members of the cookout benefited from having the cookout um, 100%. You know, Tiffany came up with a brilliant plan that worked to all of our benefits, you know. Aza was doing her social thing. Hannah was also a very smart strategic player. I don't know if people got to see that aspect from her. Kylan, you know, even though his game was a little messy, he definitely had his competition wins and was able to influence some decisions. And then Big D was just kind of playing his social game. I think every single person did what they needed to do. 
I saw that smirk. Just like let, let him live. <laughs> he did. He played a good social game. He was everyone, well everyone kind of did their part, and I never yeah. wanted to take away from what anyone else did. You know, I think we all did what we needed to do in order to get all six of us to the final six, and uh, it worked. You know, and then from the once we were at final six, I felt like it was kind of a a toss up between myself and Tiffany. Uh, I think if she had taken me out, she wins the game. I think if I had taken her out, I I would put myself in a good position to win. Um, or we were going to team up and probably ride it out to final two, but that just didn't happen. Yeah. Um, I What I found the most impressive about the cookout is that you guys played your game like a game of telephone. How did that even happen? That you just decided not to be seen together and that you would kind of relay information? It was so under the radar. Um, I gotta say, in past Big Brother seasons, when they do the whole, okay, let's get all eight of us in a room and like get together. When you're in the house, that's just stupid. Like <laughs> everyone in the house can see, hey, half the house isn't here. And someone's in HOH right now and no one knows who's up there. Like it's that concept to me was just, it's not beneficial to anyone's game. You put your alliance on blast or you have to meet at ungodly times and i was just like no let's just like i'll talk to you you talk to them and then we'll all kind of get together we'll compare notes and make sure we're all on the same page and it worked pretty effectively throughout this game oh it was brilliant it was so impressive to watch honestly um were you surprised that tiffany won america's favorite player no not at all Are you, T tiffany is a legend tiffany and i yeah we from a competitive standpoint we were going at each other but that's we're, we're two competitive michiganders like that's what we do it was like either we're gonna end up in the final two or i'm gonna get you or you're gonna get me that's it's pretty much how it goes but i know from a game standpoint we respected each other's enough game enough to know like hey this person's a big threat to me uh but then the way she's played the game her personality tiffany is 100 percent a legend and she won two hoh's back to back yeah uh, yeah she'll forever be a big brother legend no doubt i was as a woman i was rooting for her to win no offense to you oh, no that's perfectly fine but I would have loved to see the two of you face off in the finals. And I wish I could pull the jury about who really, would have won. I hadn't really seen, I, I haven't really, I've been busy. So I haven't really seen social media, but I, had, I felt like people either wanted to see myself and Tiffany or maybe myself and Kylan, but I feel like people wanted to see me and Tiffany more just because from an overall game standpoint, I think it would have been more of like a, a toss up. Um, I think Tiffany definitely could have won or I could have won, but I think it would have been more of a close race than me sitting next to Big D. Um, but I know Tiffany has even said this, you know, I felt like she, I know she felt like if she took me out, she was on and she made it to the final two, she was pretty much guaranteed to win. And I felt the same with her. So, um, you know, it was just kind of a situation where if we're not going to be a final two, I got to get you before you get me. Yeah, no, absolutely. I was really sad to see her go, but I get I know. it. I know. I know people were sad. I was like, oh, Tiffany Tuss. <laughs> uh, you know, because it, it was funny because like we would talk and stuff and then like, when I'm alone and she's alone, she'd be like, I got to get X. I'm like, I got to get Tiffany. <laughs> but then, like, you know, it was just like for, from an overall game perspective, I, I love the game that she played. It was a great game. Um, and, yeah, at times we butt heads, but that's just the game. Yeah. yeah. Would you return if Big Brother asked or have you reached the pinnacle and so you can't go back because you can't ever do any better? Uh, I think I'm definitely going to take a break for a while. Um, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely taking a break for a while. Um Future season, I would say we will have to see. I may come back and do like if they did like a season 14 coaches thing, I think that would be fun. That'd be interesting. I'd like to come back and maybe be a coach for Tiffany. You know, have us both be coaches in the house. I think that would be pretty cool. And uh, oh, be a coach. I thought you said be a coach for Tiffany. And I was like, you think no, Tiffany needs a no, coach? No, you don't need no, no. I said be a coach with Tiffany. Like with Tiffany. Yes. Like <laughs> I'm a coach, Tiffany's a coach, and then we just have our teams attack each other. It would be so much fun. That would be amazing. I yeah. think CBS, are they writing this down off screen? <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. that is my time today. So congratulations. This was yeah. a really fun season to watch. And yeah, hats yeah. off to, to you guys. Thank you so much. And uh, thanks for having me. Thank you. Take care. Take it easy.